everyone. I am starting a YouTube tutorial series. We're gonna be reborning some babies for those of you who are interested. And it is designed for the, the beginner beginner, someone who has always wanted to try it and never has and is working up the nerve and is nervous about it and just wants to know where to begin. And this is where it begins, right here, with a little box of goodness. This came from Bountiful Baby and I don't always buy sculpts from Bountiful Baby. I actually try my best to buy sculpts from other artists who are de-stashing. Um, and I look around, you know, and find babies that I like. But I do like Bountiful Baby and I do like their real born sculpts, so I do often um, get little things from them. And this box isn't chuck full of stuff. This isn't a haul. I just thought it would be great to start from the very, very, very beginning. So if you're new to this, you will get a box like this in the mail and um, let me open that up and it was probably will have all your beginning supplies in there this doesn't but it does have I, I'm pretty sure there's a kit in here I had to order some rings and some plugs and I think there was a sale baby in there and here is rings and plugs and eyes for beginners, these rings are going to go in the flanges of the arms and legs and it helps them move um, a little bit more smoothly in the body. And these eyes obviously are for babies that have open eyes. Not all babies have open eyes. And let's see, in here we have some plugs. And what plugs do is they plug up the head, the arms and the legs so that the sand doesn't all come out. And it keeps moisture out. Moisture is not your friend with a baby. Let's see what else is in here. More. More rings, happen to have a lot of those. More plugs. And um, I had just gone through all my kits and made a list of missing rings and plugs I had been borrowing from other kits and I really wanted to make sure that I had a lot of everything. Oh, look at this, got a refrigerator magnet, pretty cool. Um, this is for the doll show um, this July, 2019 in Utah. You know, it's the International Rose Show, and it's an awesome show. That's what everybody says. It's all reborn babies, and I do have a booth there, and I am slated to go. However, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to make it. Um, my son is releasing an album this summer, and I have an important role in making sure all that goes smoothly, and so I might not be able to do the show. I'm so, so bummed out. My fingers are crossed it can still happen, but we'll see. Um... And there's my bill. Ugh, don't want to look at that. And these are bodies. Look at all of these bodies. They had a sale, and so I bought the body I use most, which is a 19 or a 20 inch body. And some of my babies were missing bodies. And here is some paint. I use Genesis heat paint, uh, heat set paint, excuse me. And this is what I'm going to be doing a tutorial on. If you're using air dryer or acrylic. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of the same. I mean, you can watch it and it'll help, but uh, this kind of, this paint is a little weird and it takes a little getting used to. And this is all my baby skin because I go through it a lot. And if you're going to be doing Genesis, these are the tubs you'll get. You'll probably get a smaller size and you'll get all the colors. Your size will be more like this. And you're going to um, love it because this lasts a super long time. I paint a lot of babies, so I go through it a little bit quicker. And um, I'm going to put that aside. Here are some COAs, um, Certificate of Authenticity. I know lots of people dig them, and that's cool. I don't really pay much attention to this. If the baby comes with one, I send it. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I don't use it to market babies. I know collectors love it, and that's great, but I'm not a collector. I'm a baby maker, and to me, that's just a piece of paper. Here we go, here's a sculpt. It is Evelyn Awake. I don't think I've done this baby before. So what you'll get is a kit that looks like this. It will have, let me dump it all out. It'll have a head, neck flanges here. On all of the arms and the legs right here in the neck, it will tell you the company um, and the sculpt so that you can keep track of who belongs to what. And this is an open-eyed baby, so she's going to need some eyeballs. You'll get arms and legs. These are full arms and legs. That means that they go inside the body 
like this. And that means that they can wear diapers and they can wear t-shirts that don't have sleeves and that's really cool. There are a three quarter and even one quarter. They don't sell a lot of those anymore. And the not so great thing about that is you don't um, have a lot of opportunity to dress them in things that you really like, but uh, they have more um, posability. I guess that's the only thing I can think of. So anyway, you'll get arms and legs, yay. And um, that's about it. So what we're going to do next is we are gonna take these babies, and we're going to put them in, or I am going to put them in a tub of warm soapy water. I am not gonna scrub them. I don't want to mar the surface of the vinyl and make weird dents and scratches. I'm just gonna let them soak in the warm soapy water. A lot of people use Dawn because it cuts grease. The whole point of this is these babies have traveled. They have been um, poured into a mold in China. They've been released, put in a big bin. They've been sorted, they've been packaged, they've been shipped, they've been in the, sh the shipyard, they've gone to the, to the company and the company has sorted them and inspected them and put them in bins and then they've been picked and sent to you. They have done a lot of work before they get to you. So what I wanna do is just get rid of any grease, grime, or dirt that they've collected through their travels. It's not a lot and it's not necessary, at least in my opinion, to give them a, you know, a lots of detailed scrubbing. I just, I just soak and rinse and make sure that I thoroughly dry them and we'll get to that in one minute. But I just wanted to get you all excited. When that box comes, it's time to have fun. All right, we'll see you at bath time. Here we are, bath time, yay! <laughs> I have five sculpts here. These are the five sculpts I'm gonna be working on during this um, tutorial series. I work in fives. I know it seems absolutely crazy, and it is. Don't do like crazy people, especially if you're new. Just pick a nice inexpensive sales sculpt. That first baby is not gonna be your best baby. It might be your most precious baby, but it's not gonna be your best baby because you're learning that's the baby to play and learn and have fun with and don't stress out about. I've been doing this for a while, so this is my magic number. This is where I like to be. Not many people do. Actually, I don't know anybody who does, um, but for me, this is okay. And it's gonna help me as we do the tutorial um, to have babies in different stages and different um, complexions. And um, some have open eyes, closed eyes, some are big and small. So you get a little bit of everything. That way, no matter what sculpt you pick, there might be something for you. So what I did was I took the five babies I chose, I stuck them in a tub, a clean tub of warm soapy water, and I rinsed them off really well, and I'm gonna leave them overnight to dry. It's really late here where I'm at, and so I'm about ready for bed. I'm going to let these dry overnight, just air dry. I don't like to dry them with a towel or a paper towel because they get lint on them and I it just bothers me lint annoys me I I don't know why it just does so air drying works for me what you have to be careful for is making sure that inside of here is dry and um, I kind of beat the water out let it dry overnight and it might not seem a big deal because the water's inside but what happens is while you're painting you're holding your baby and you're painting and then you go to turn your baby around and your hand is wet and you're touching all that beautiful painting that you just did and it ruins it. So make sure the inside here, as you can see, it's dripping. Make sure the inside here is uh, dry. Yes to a blow dryer, not too hot. No to a heat gun. I have made that error. Learn from my mistakes, no heat gun. Um, a nice blow dryer can dry it out, but usually just leaving them overnight really gets the water out and you can shake it out of the limbs. Um, again, no scrubbing. I don't use any scrub brushes or toothbrushes or anything. I don't want to put any scratches on the vinyl. I want it to stay nice and smooth. And when I choose my sculpts, I try to choose something, a variety. Let's just put it that way. Because it, it can get boring, you know, if you're, if you're doing the same baby over and over again. So for example, I have Land in Awake. He is a really big baby. And that'll be fun because he's got these super big chunky limbs. And then I have little tiny, now I don't know how to pronounce this correctly. I call her Aria, but I've heard the, her name pronounced Araya. 
this is a funny looking sculpt, but I don't know why. I just absolutely love that little face. I've never done it awake. So this has uh, a small sculpt and she has opened eyes. So that'll be fun. And um, this is Kyrie and I love the little impy smile on this baby. So that'll be fun. And then this baby, I can't even remember who this is. And I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. It's by Phil Donnelly. I think her name is Cloda. The reason why I chose this baby is because it is not a real born. Um, it's an artist made sculpt and the, um, the vinyl is a little bit different color than the rest of these. And so I'll be color correcting. So that'll be um, something different than the rest of the babies. And I don't know, what a cute face, open mouth. That'll be a little bit of a challenge. I am always afraid of open mouths. Um, I just wanna make sure I get the inside just right. And that's a little bit of a bigger baby. Um, so I've got a little bit of a variety here. One, two, three, four of these are Bountiful Baby Realborns. And I, I just, I really like them. I like them because they're proportioned well. I like them because they have a lot of realistic details. I like them because their size is, is um, it usually runs about 18, 19 inches, except for this baby, obviously. She's a bit tiny. Uh, that size is, is nice. People seem to like it a lot. I like it. Um, it's fun. So here we go. We have all these babies. What I'm going to do is let them dry overnight. And then in the morning, we are going to put the first flesh layer on. Now, you do not have to do this. The reason why I'm doing this is because I have a couple babies here who are not all the same color. And I kind of want to start with a blank canvas. I don't always put a flesh layer on. I don't always put a primer layer on. It just depends on the sculpt. If I look at a baby and it has a very, very shiny foot or shiny hands, I know that the paint is gonna have trouble sticking to that vinyl. So usually what I'll do is I'll make a flesh layer and I'll put a tiny bit of matte varnish in there, just a tiny bit. And that will um, create, oh, I don't know, like um, someone on, the, on one of my doll forums said it gives the baby tooth. It gives the paint something to cling to. But again, I don't always do it, and I don't like doing it on heads. I do sometimes, but if you're gonna paint hair and you have a lot of varnish on that baby, the paint doesn't go on in, um, the, 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 the hairs aren't as crisp. Let's, when we get there, I'll explain more about it, but I sometimes don't like to do that. But for these babies, I think we're gonna go mostly just with a couple of flesh layers. And that is going to be baby skin and um, a little bit of titanium white. And I'm gonna to try to find my pale flesh for you. Here it is. Um, it is going to be, I think I said baby skin, a little titanium white and lots of paint thinner. A lot of paint thinner. Now, if you're just starting out, don't make a big jar like this. It will just be wasteful. You can do it in a little tiny cup or a little tiny dish if you have something like this. And sometimes I think some of the beginner kits come with something like this. It's fine just to mix it up like this for one baby. I do a lot of babies, so I mix it up in big batches. And the deal is once I'm done, I'm gonna make a new color. I'm not gonna do that color again. I'm gonna get close to it, but probably never do it again. Um, but I'll probably get a good five babies or maybe six babies out of that jar. And I'll show you how to mix that when we get to the next step. I use Bountiful Baby um, mixes. I use Genesis heat set paint and I use Mona Lisa paint thinner. I'm used to it. I know there are other options, um, but that's just what I use. I get a coupon from like Michael's and I go over there and buy one when I need one. I go through a lot of it actually. So again, get those babies a bath and tomorrow we will put a little skin on them and get them started. See you in the morning.